Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me Chris Agnelli. In this one we're going to take a look at uh, using Swipe Comp uh, to mash up some beats to, to sort of glitch them up and quickly switch between some uh, elements of four different beats. Uh, quick swipe comp would be used more for vocals or any sort of recordings you have that have multiple takes that you can uh, quickly swipe through and select the best sections of each take uh, and comp them together it used to be you know kind of a tedious task to you know when we were doing vocals you'd go across and find you know out of seven takes you'd find a really good line or you'd find a good word and you'd sit and comp them and chop them this is swipe comping is really quick and effective uh which if you don't use vocals or you don't record lots of vocals you probably don't really come across but we can use it uh in uh our productions and dance music terms so let's quickly throw in some uh beats and uh we're looking for uh breathe Breathing, something like that. Import the tempo information. Uh, block party. If we can find it. Oh. Let's drop that in. Uh, cash register. So I just kind of. Uh, I've been making a lot of beats recently and I've been trying to trying to find ways to, to you know, I tend to go to the same plugins as probably most of you do, that you have a setup that's quick and it's easy, but it gets a bit boring and repetitive. I was trying to make lots of different beats. I'm trying to think of ways of how can we approach this process differently to try and get better creative or different creative results. And uh, this is how I, I kind of thought, well, this might be interesting and I'll share it with you guys. So... So, so we have, uh, we can get rid of that. We have four tracks now. You know, four Apple Loops. Uh, you can use audio tracks, anything that you have to hand that you want to. And we're going to do kind of like a track stack thing. So if you use track stacks in Logic Pro 10, uh, or if you use folders in Logic Pro, Time, Pro 9, you will be familiar. So we highlight them all. We're going to right click, and we're going to go to Folder and pack a take folder and this will now give us one uh, now it's only playing back one beat so we can hit the re little reveal triangle and you can see there's the four beats so it's playing uh, number two here which is a breathing tech beat if we highlight number three it'll play that highlight four so if again swipe comp vocals imagine these were four vocal takes you can quickly flick between and it'll be reflected here in the top level uh, region so we have this little triangle here we're in comp swipe mode but uh, we know this because we've got four little rectangles in a triangle and what we're going to do now is quickly swipe through uh, the beats and start to select sections out of it so we so we want to take this snare and we want to have this section and then we have this section i'm just randomly swiping in stuff now we want to go back to and let's have a listen So we have too many of these snares going on, so we'll just... And I want to move that section to here and swipe in this section. So it's all a bit messy. You can see that we're not, you know, dropping on beats. So we can go in and tidy things up. It doesn't tend to snap too well to, you know... Uh, regions there we, we go we, we've got a one beat region let's make this two let's change our divisions to 16 so we just have a higher resolution and make sure this so you can see one if we swipe back 
it'll uh, it'll spout back the upper comp so let's get that nice and tight Again, this one, let's make this on the downbeat of 2.1 and then off at 2.2. And this, you can see this little comp here. So let's swipe that to 2.4. So we can, if we hover over the edge of the, the sort of swipe region we can move it back and forth and then use our uh, information box to get it nice and tight if we're in the middle of the region of the swipe region we can shift the whole thing back and forth and that's reflected uh, in the changing of the blue of the other two above and below and at the top if we look at the very top area here we can see this is reflected so So what we can do then is close that down and A means this is the comp that we're, we're listening to the comp. We can select uh, the different tracks here or just listen to the comp. <coughs> Excuse me, we can rename it, delete it, flatten it means just that'll uh, flatten it down into an actual edit. Uh, now we want to go to the scissor tool. And this is another, sorry, before we do that, I want to, we'll go to the reveal triangle. Another quick little thing that's really interesting to do is, <clears throat> again, say we didn't like particularly this first beat of bar two. I can, uh, right click and I can swap it out to either two, three, four, five, which is two, three, four, five. We currently are five. So five is ticked. If I want to swap that to uh, number two, just click on number two, and there you go. And go, well, that's a bit repetitive. Let's try three. Again, a bit repetitive. Let's try four, and it swaps it down. And you go, well, actually, we like five the best. <clears throat> so again, imagine this was vocals. You have four takes, and you could be, you know, this could be the word and, and you go, be quickly flicking through and seeing which is the best and in the context of the whole region. So click our disclosure and click on the little uh, triangle of rectangles, if that makes any sense. And <clears throat> we can now treat this like an audio file, which is really cool. Uh, we can start. So if I hit the scissor tool and I hit alt, we get the little plus sign at the scissor tool and that means it's going to divide it equally across the region and this is a really handy tool to use if you're chopping beats up and stuff and what we can do now is take that out and start oh start swapping the beats about you know and let's split this one oh, in half let's remove this and this is sort of like ambience that we're copying up here so we can get a nice sort of glitchy uh, repeat on the ambience. And then guys, you can, you know, do all sorts of interest in more glitchy stuff. Uh, we can put in, you know, let's go to Bit Crusher and just go to Down Sampling. And at the last few beats, we'll just, you know, We'll draw on some automation. Uh, let's change it to somewhere more interesting. So there you go. That's a quick way to sort of glitch up, bring in a bunch of beats, start sort of swapping bits out and you can quickly flick through different elements of the beats to see if it makes something interesting once you've got a comp that you're quite happy with you can go in with the scissor tool chop things up and start repeating it and then add uh, 
you know, bit crushers or delays or whatever you want uh, to the elements and, you know, create sort of interesting new beats. So, guys, thanks for watching and hope to speak to you all very soon.